G'day Instagram. I'm back at the Castle Main project a um, couple of weeks into the year and uh, the progress has been pretty good here so far this year and it's been a while since I've tuned in for a film so um, let's flip this camera around and uh, let's get into it. So yeah the boys um, late last year did the uh, carport here. Um, yeah we've got the, the galvanized steel beam and then uh, on top we've got um, spotted gum rafters with spotted gum battens. Um, the reason we have to go spotted gum is the bell rating here um, yeah, the spotted gum works in with the, the Bell 29 Bell rating. Um, also, the brickies are just finished, so the boys from um, CB Bricklaying in Cotton have done an amazing job. Um, so, yeah, the bricks are, um, are recycled um, red from Sydney. We've, the design company felt that they um, were a much nicer sort of sandstony sort of um, brick compared to the, the Melbourne reds, and they just suited that side cut and just sat in this hill much nicer um but yeah you can see like the sort of it looks good like the um the imperfections in the brickwork and also in the mortar from the brickies but that's that's intentionally just to um you know blend in with the imperfection of the bricks but um come through we'll uh, go inside have a look the boys have um finished off this um entrance here now so you can see we've got the silver ash um timber ceiling linings and then yeah brickwork here the side of the entrance we do have um, pavers going down here there'll be a strip drain run across there um, so we also had the concrete polished here um, it's come up yeah amazing with the correct light on that it just looks awesome but yeah just some temporary protection plastering's all done now um, so one of the steps I do with construction is that we do a um, pre-paint inspections so that's um, dust lead carpet and myself we go around and um, just uh, circle up any defects that we find but then and the plasters come back themselves with a torch and shine light directly on the wall when circle up any defects so it's um, all ready for um, painting um, this uh, sliding door is a really good feature now you can see it all done that so full ceiling height there the door pockets in perfectly flush. Nice little latch. Sorry, I get it. Nice little latch like that. Just grab it. Pretty nice. Goes all the way across and to close it, soft closing. Just pockets in neatly. Nice little detail. Joiners are, um, yeah, 99% done. A few little bits to finish off, but um, yeah, coming up really nicely. See there, the bulkhead for the HRV is concealed in there. All the ducting within there, and the wall grills coming through. Upstairs now, um, tilers, tiling has been uh, underway here. Um, I just want to show you a couple of things with tiling and waterproofing. We have a, um, a puddle waste here, puddle flange. So that serves two purposes. Is the bathroom is fully waterproof. You can see the waterproofing membrane on the walls. That continues through right on the floor. You can see it goes up the wall a bit. So that's fully, what I call fully tanked. Um, that's 100% sealed up. So underneath the tiles is a waterproof membrane. That puddle waste flange allows the any water that gets through the tiles, which it will, to then drain into here and then the other thing is this puddle waste flange has a steel grate at the top that lets any surface water on the tiles then drain in there um, when i'm waterproofing we put in a, a tile trim on the edge of the shower that's the shower screen we're sitting in here and that's fully sealed down to the waterproofing membrane so that water will get in here but not going to come out in here at all and that goes the whole way across the room in here and then again opening that door is we've got another um, tile trim there which is fully sealed up so this floor is 100 percent waterproof it's got a, a backstop here and a backstop there it's one thing i really focus on with waterproofing is water management making sure that we don't have any issues with it come out to the balcony out here up the top here look at that awesome view pretty amazing um but yeah tiling's all done out here so we've got Colourbond going on that wall there. 
the silver top ash cladding has been done. The boys have um, stopped that down on the tiles there. So we've got a tile skirt um, in behind the tiles that are 100% waterproofed. But yeah, just a little sort of um, water water stop there. Obviously the tile skirting continues around. Stainless steel grate that goes into a concealed downpipe underneath the, um, the house. But yeah, very, very sort of um, seamless sort of finishing that up here. As you can see, the boys done an awesome job finishing off the the cladding to the um, ceiling and that. But um, yeah, it's all uh, all take, coming along nicely. There will be um, louvers going on that opening there. Uh, one for privacy, but also just to at um, you know south out that direction, just to stop that southern breeze coming in, give the owners a bit more comfort. And then yeah, we've got uh, wide balustrade going around around here. But um, yeah, it's all all very on cool. You can see that brickwork there. Um, we're got to build where those witches huts are. The pergola in there and decking underneath it. But um, yeah, all um, all coming out really nice here. Hey guys, let me know though. Do you want me to keep doing videos like this, or do you find them boring? Um, yeah, let me know what we're going to see on this page or let me know what you think of all my details.